Hello everyone, Steamed Jeans here. Today we're doing a four for McDorfer in the world of Fallout New Vegas. My goodness gracious everyone, it's gonna be great. Let's take a look at those mods. First up is the Saber Weapon by Zoo the Skunk. That's right, Zoo the Skunk back at it. This is a melee weapon, and as you can see, it is beautiful. There are no mods for this, but it's got a DPS 117, a damage of 66, and it has bonus limb damage, so very nice. Next up is Plasma Cutter by Quicksilver, and this is the weapon from Dead Space in all its glory. So as you can see, beautiful new mesh and texture, and we also get two mods for this. You get Efficient Wiring, which increases the ammo capacity, and Focused Beam, which increases attack damage by plus seven. This is awesome looking, and I really can't wait to use this, because it's gonna be great. Live Dismemberment by Subnericol and Asura. So what this mod does is when you shoot an enemy on any of their limbs, it can be blown off and they react accordingly. So if you shoot off someone's legs, they'll fall to the floor and start to crawl. And uh, with their arm, they can still run. This is a really nice mod. And as you can see from the examples we're showing you here, it's gonna be awesome. So very nice, very cool. And last but not least, we are doing Cliffside Mystery by Kangaroo Jerky. That's right, Kangaroo Jerky is back in action. And we got a sweet old quest mod, even though in the description it says it's a note mod. But you know what? I've, I've got, I got big dreams, and, we're, and I'm going to figure out these notes. So we're going to uh, Quarry Junction here. Uh, it does say don't bring any companions because there's no real nav meshing going on. So it's just going to be a... A solo, solo adventure. I'm probably gonna die real quick, but uh, we'll see. Also, uh, I don't know if I put out a video about it yet, but uh, I did move, and I am currently in my kitchen in my new apartment, so apologies if there are noises and sound effects. Oh god, I need companions. I need them now. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. No, oh, shoot it. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh, uh, all right. So Kangaroo Jerky said that we we would know it when we see it regarding the entrance to the quest. Okay. Alright. Oop. So this is gonna be like a uh, tell me the difference kind of game. Like in a pop up book. You gotta show me what the difference is. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, you know what? We're close enough. I guess we could go for the face. Ooh. I'll take one head to go. There's also construction going on downstairs, so. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, I do have my uh, my magic map. I forgot about that. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't been here in a hundred years. Oh wait. <gasps> oh, here we go. Thank you, magic map. Are we gonna blast off to space? Team Rocket style? Oh man. Hmm. All right. The Miner Shack. This is where all the kids hang out. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. Blabadongorf. Blabadongorf, what happened? Man, Blabadongorf, you were ready for anything. <gasps> oh my god. Hobo oh, armor. Man, this guy is ready for action. Hobo armor. It's time to show the... W oh. Alright, it's just... A, it's just called hobo armor. Oh, hello. The Great Journey. Okay. After murdering this random dude who was digging in some freaky dumpster behind the shack over here, he had this weird-ass holodisc on him. I don't know what it was saying. Something about Searchlight Airport? Yeah, the government was playing games with these people and... Yeah, man. 
Anywho, I can't read the note. It's in, like, another freaky language. Probably some type of English. But either way, he had a key, too. My name is Blabadongorf, if anyone else wants to know. Oh, Blabadongorf? He was the most beautiful hobo I'd ever met. Piece of wood? It's a piece of wood. Ah, oh, damn it. It's a piece of... Damn it! Oh. Any of these things could be valuable in the future of the mod, not in the game. All right, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of keys. Man, Baba Dungorf, we would have had so many great adventures. Yes, I know what pugilism, pugilism is. All right, so I guess we could go to Searchlight Airport next. And this mod has been out for a while, so I probably could look up some sweet tutorials. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, it's so big. Oh, my God. I got big wood. They don't call me big wood for nothing. It's, uh, it's actually the opposite. He has the tiniest penis of all of us. Hey, I told you to never tell anyone. All right, so we got two doors here. Looks like, I don't know what Baba Dongorf was trying to do. All right, let's go to Searchlight Airport. <gasps> oh, Gecko Jesus is trying to escape. <laughs> Not today, Gecko Jesus. Not today. Let's see what we got. Gecko, Gecko, big ass Gecko Dad. That's a big ass gecko dad. Start taking some gecko shots. Oh, these geckos don't know where I am. These fools. These. Oh no, never mind. I think they know. Sorry, pops. But I'm taking the kids to TGI Fridays. But I'm taking the kids to TGI Deads. And that's how you slay the geckos. All right, they got an airplane here. Let's see what dad, dad that doesn't, how are you gonna pay for when you went to TGI's? You don't even have a wallet on you? Come on, dude, what are you doing? Oh, uh, they got their luggage. All right, oh, here we go, quite a journey. Oh, is this a weapon? All right, quite a journey. And be on the lookout for keys, everyone. I really need to uh, make or install a mod that just makes keys glow. Or just make key meshes unbelievably large. What? Airplane hatch to Sol Grande? <gasps> the big sun. Oh, we're finally going to meet our big sun, everyone. He had a glandular problem. He's, he's huge. Quite a journey. Logbook, entry one. Hello there. Today's the day I'll write my first entry. My son got me this notebook and, well, I think I should use it. I want to use it to impress him and show him I can write words. Entry two. Hello again. This is the second day. I'm so excited for my family and I. We finally bought a way into Vegas. I was able to obtain a large amount of cap from a nearby man who I personally killed. He had to be forcefully convinced that the money would be safe with me, although his benefactors see it differently. Oh, so he actually did take from someone. Entry three. They're on to me. I've been followed on numerous occasions, and I feel their eyes preying on me. Hopefully, I see them coming, and they don't see me coming. Entry four. My family is unaware of this gradually and concerning issue. Maybe I should tell them. Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Entry five. I told her. I told my wife. She doesn't have a name. She closed her eyes and turned for me to go get the kids. She showed no emotion as she walked out the door. <sighs> Synth. I found a note slipped under my front door that simply said, Two hours. I don't know what this means, but hopefully it's dinner. Entry nine. Excuse me for missing a few days. I had to deal with some issues that... That... I was burglarized. Blindfolded. And then I opened my eyes next to my two children with a 12-gauge shotgun in my face. Across from me sat my dear wife, who still has no name. I had to close my eyes and wake up from this dream. There was no escape, though. 
especially after her cries of fear crept into my ears like tiny caterpillars learning how to walk. One man walked in front of me and said, Time's up. They held my head, making sure I watched, along with my children. Then the large boom burst my ears, and there before me lay my dear sweet Sasha. Ah, right, that's her name. After that would be my two kids. I don't think I have anything else to live for. Oh, I sure as hell know that some stupid metal caps of bottles was not worth it. Please forgive me, Gecko Jesus. Entry 12. I sold everything I own. I bought a rigged-up military-grade fighter jet. I'm heading to the Casa Sol Grande, an untouched village, from what I've heard. I hope I know how to fly this, and I don't get attacked by geckos. Entry 14. I'm running low on supplies and aviation fuel. I need to stop at a local airport. Okay, so he landed here and then got killed by gecko. Where's his body? Where's that baby's body? Well, there's... Wait, where's the blood? Does the blood lead somewhere? Hmm. Where does the blood go? Alright, let's go to the big sun. <laughs> oh, I love the jet sound. That's amazing. Okay, look, everyone. I'm not the best pilot, alright? Give me a damn break. Casa Sol, Grande Center. All right, well, this is a good welcoming gift. Very nice. Or ominous. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, Prospector Saloon Radio. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. We got anything in this little lake? Oh, what is this? We do. All right, this exterior is fantastic. I really like this. Wow. I don't know. Did I did I land upside down and just plop out? Man, thank goodness for airbags, right? Oh, here we are. All right, everybody in the audience, keep your uh, eyes open for keys. Uh, where do you, where did where'd you go? Where'd you fly away? Yeah, thanks for the help, but you know I repair you and you just leave. Cool. Oh no. I do not want to get spooked. Am I locked in here now? Man, I have not seen any of this, uh... Scanning for hostiles. The Casa Madre models used since Casa Madre, the DLC. Uh, Al, actually, it's not called... Oh, whatever. Ooh! Really? A bear trap took you down, Mr. Robot? Yeah, no wonder Johnny Five lost. What were you trying to do? Were you going to sleep in here? In your open closet? Great job. Oh, hello. Weathered Protectron. Sorry about your legs. You got more to worry about than weather. Oh, yeah. All right. I am going to turn on my magic map. All right. So that's where we came from. This is where we can go. And our imagination can take us anywhere. Oh my goodness. And let's just check. They don't have any keys or magic scrolls on them. Do you have any magic keys or scrolls on your body? Because I'm going to check your body for magic scrolls. <gasps> oh, damn it. I'm fine. See, that's what you get for making fun of robots. Oh, wow, Jim Jams. Violence will not. <laughs> Actually, where's. I haven't used the saber sword. Let's use this. The saber sword. It's ready for action. Alright, yeah, let's just go and whatever. Whoa! Holy crap! 
awesome. It is 6.20 p.m., so the lighting is really helping it, too. I don't know if it perpetually stays uh, with this lighting. Sometimes mods do that. <gasps> E.T. phone home. Wow, there is so much stuff in, like, all of these. All right, uh, a lot of apparel. Let's take that. Yeah, I'm just checking for notes because I know we're going to miss a key or a note or something. <laughs> oh, I never mind. My hobo armor shall protect me. Almost. A boom! Got the back leg. Oh, here we go. Movements. We lost half of the pack on the other side of the fence in town. We managed to blow a hole in the fence and camp here. They'll manage if they're still alive. Turns out there are robots down this road and god-awful creatures in the rubble to where we just came from. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. All right, get your hand off. Get your hand off. You didn't wash your hands. More bear traps. Oh, I could true crouch my way into there. Horn fence to Cliff City. All right, let's go. I do want to check out. Oh God. I do want to check out that other entrance we passed back? I didn't even come over here. I don't think so. Nope, I didn't. Cause there are bear traps. Or I jumped over those. This is my new home. Give me presents. Oh, awesome. Oh, this is all interconnected. That's great. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, step right into it. Okay, is this the other door that... Yeah, this is the one that we... Uh, passed by. Whoa. Jeez. That's awesome. Alright, looks like we got a few locations we can go to. Oh, we got stairs! Oh, I'm so excited about stairs. <gasps> Lobster Claw Tower! Red Lobster's closed for the time being. Probably should switch to uh, better armor. Yeah, I know what a multi rifle is. Oh, we got Meyer there. Come on over and touch this hobo. Ow. There we go. All right, not a good idea. <laughs> Back to dead space. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh, the first guy got like 12 dick shots. Sorry about that, fine sir. Let's try this. And he's gonna be okay, Jim. Oh, damn it. Just gonna be okay. You okay, buddy? Hey, buddy. Buddy, hey, wake up, little bud. Okay, there you go. Got some ketchup on your face. All right. Keys, keys, oh, here we, nope. Keys and notes. Hollow shot CC. Closed captions. 
Lobster Claw sub basement. This is nope. All right, let's go in the basement. Oh no, right, we got a gas leak. Oh no, Mr. Baby, not today. Hello, fine sir. Fernand Harbor. Is that, yes it is. I had to erase the orders that were previously on this paper because it's the only paper around here and God forbid an officer may happen to walk in and see this. I don't think that'll be happening anytime soon. I admit I'm a coward, but not the only coward. We had no idea what we were up against. They were so fast and agile. We don't even know if it was one or ten. Our bullets couldn't stop it and we just couldn't, uh, we just kept shooting. Bullets, lasers, hell, even the fifties weren't stopping it. After we were assigned to take back Cliff City, it was just odd in general. Empty. Desolate. Just skeletons and dead bodies. The rust from the cars were all we could hear for our entire walk. We saw a bandit graffiti just past the divider fence. We didn't dare stroll through there. We were not prepared for a firefight. Then we came across the idea of going into this here building and going to the roof to see if there were any bandits across. After we set up shop here, we fortified as much as we could and even tried to clean. I got some beautiful towels. We restored the little power this place had and such a strange name, Lobster Claw Tower. All of a sudden, gunfire and screams took our ears by surprise. It was about midnight and it was as dark in here as it was out there. No one had any idea what the hell was going on, but we switched on the floodlights and stood at the ready. The shooting stopped, the screaming too. We sent Private Kidder Choppins <laughs> to investigate by himself just to the stairs. He did so and as he slowly walked into the darkness, he stopped and on the sixth step, his body was pulled up and a chunk of him fell down. Oh man. We opened fire, all of us, then somehow, some way, it got behind us, as if it was already there. That's when I ran. We all dropped our guns and ran to the elevator, including the LMGs. Now I'm stuck outside of this door, waiting for a response. I hope it's soon. All right, so, something clearly good happened here. Oh my God, Jesus is locked in this door. <laughs> Don't worry, G. hey, hello. Perversion, the janitor. Herderson. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I mean, what are you doing here? Why are you here? Mmm, look at the smoke coming out of my mouth. My plane crashed a ways back. I don't know where I am, and I need to get back to the Mojave. No one's ever been here for decades. Well, I mean, there has been, but I haven't seen anyone here for a long time. You got any smigarettes? You think you can help me, or at least give me directions or something? You want directions to the Mojave? All right, well, you're gonna need to find your way to the good old Cradle Canyon from here. You know where that is, right? Where are you from? I'm from the deepest depths of the Underverse, my friend. The Underworld. I've seen it all. Dogs with pigeon heads. Hot dogs with onion feet. Um, can you come with me? No way, dude. If you want an adventure, I'll give you a great one. If you stick around, preferably on me. Um... I need, I need to go. You want directions? Yeah, I need to go. No way, dude. Okay, is there like a goodbye thing? No one's been here for decades. Okay, I need to leave. <sighs> well, hey, look, I unlocked the door for you, so now you can leave. Sacrificial skull. Civilian pistol. Civilian pistol. Ew. <laughs> These little cars you have. Oh, you're living a life down here, man. Okay, you can turn off the liquid fecal matter. Oh, shit. Don't go up there, dude. Perderson. Perderson, don't go up there. You're gonna die, man. Stay down here with your toys. You'll be fine. See, the dinos are roaring for you. Here you go. Come back. Come on, buddy. Stay back. Stay down there. Poor Perderson. Farewell, Perderson. <laughs> All right, um, let's get back upstairs and start walking around some of those other areas. All right, I think, didn't they say like they had to go down? So, whoa. Hmm. I wonder if I repair all the radios if something happens. All right, what do we got? 
the Raider Nest. Ow. Are you guys all dead or are you waiting for me? <clears throat> Damn it. Because your bear traps seem like they're going to kill me. You guys aren't going to have to do it. Okay, no, you did. Wait. <laughs> what? Did this lady lay an egg? Oh no. No bueno, ma'am. You remember what we said about laying eggs, Martha? It's not normal. We know it's your hobby, but still. Oh, okay, they were making... I guess they were cooking these and making them. Uh-oh, not good, not good, not good. Oh, we got rats. Little baby rats, little baby rats. Come on over here, we got some little baby rats. Oh, they don't have eyes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, these rats don't have eyes. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, poor little rats. Little baby rats, little baby rats. Get, whoa. Big baby rat, big old baby rat. Big old baby rat. Mm. This rat didn't have a key for me. What am I even doing here? Right, Cliff City? Ooh, I think that's where we should be going, right? We got some big old rats in here. Oh, you know it. Little big rat, little big rat. Gonna take this rat down every single day. Oh, God. Okay, all right. Underestimated. Never underestimate the rat, people. All right, we came in through the church doors, and we're leaving through the double doors. Ruined building. All right, I guess we're stuck back here, right? Hello? <gasps> Trying to get back to Mojave, if anyone's got a map. Hobo jet. More hobo armor. I'm gonna be unstoppable. Uh, Al, you know that provides zero armor, right? Yeah, no, I, I do. I know. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, I love how the keys are slightly larger than usual. <laughs> oh, I got applause. That's great. Oh, that's fantastic. You left your goddamn key in the office again, and I had to override a wonderful fucking holodisc just for you. Get your shit together, Office Douche Jr. Patrick Welch. <laughs> oh no, Patrick. Oh no, Patrick. Oh, another key. The front door key. Your days of being Patrick are no more. Perderson could have saved you. I know he could have. If only he tried more. My god. Holy shit. Patrick, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Man, this is great. I love this. This is a fantastic exterior. I know I said that already, but I'm gonna say it twice. Because it's just so nice. I'd like some chicken, broccoli, and rice. All right, we're still on Cliff City. Oh man, what if there was a big dog named Clifford? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Mm, yeah, it would. Get the shaky shakes. Mm-hmm. The shaky shakes. Here you go. Okay. Now your body's just doing the shaky shakes, but your face is not doing any shakes. Cliffside Saloon. Oh, well, hello there, my friend. Farewell, my... Oh, here comes your other friend. Sorry about that, friend. Bucky boy. Bucky's old mojito. All right. Oh, that's right. We haven't used the wood. Good old piece of wood. Gigantic piece of wood. <laughs> uh, 
Whoa, look at all these books. <gasps> oh no, the coffee killed him. I always said he drank far too much. The thing is, I never said it to him, so, you know, that's a problem. The nights in Cliff City were some of the darkest I'd ever seen. Alright, that's the raider nest. This is where we came in. Alright. Let's head down the cliff. See if we can't find Clifford. You know what? Let's get to cooking. There we go. Water and Waste Company. Not if I can help it. Oh, little Steve. Ooh, goodbye. Oh, sorry about that. Ooh, my bad. 